and welcome to Jesus Christ Prison Ministry and another video Bible study. Our topic, Psalm 68. May God arise, may his enemies be scattered, may his foes flee before him. As smoke is blown away by the wind, may you blow them away as wax melts before the fire. May the wicked perish before God. Absolutely. If people are robbing you, stealing you, taking your ID, okay? If people are hurting you, you want them destroyed. You want justice. God is a God of justice. The problem is, is when we want to hurt, destroy, sin, sins that make us feel good, even though they hurt others. You see, then it's all of a sudden, oh, God is love and loves me and we're saved by grace. No. No, we're not saved eternally by grace. No. God is a God of justice. The Bible's very plain that he is coming with his reward to give to every person according to what they have done. We are thankful when the wicked are destroyed. But may the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. May they be happy and joyful. The righteous who love what is right, who want to do what is right, yes, they will rejoice and be glad in the presence of God. Sing to God, sing praise to his name, extol him who rides on the clouds. His name is the Lord. That's right. The Lord in the Old Testament is the same person who walked in the New Testament on earth as Jesus. It's the same God, it's the same Lord. The same Jesus in both Old and New Testament. Nothing's changed. His name is the Lord, and rejoice before him. A father to the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy dwelling. God sets the lonely in families. He leads forth the prisoners with singing, but the rebellious live in a sun-scorched land. You see, God demonstrated his love in a very personal way through Jesus. As Jesus walked everywhere he went, those that believed in him, obeyed him, put their faith in him, were healed. Their lives were changed. And so it can be in our lives. When you went out before your people, O oh God, when you marched through the wasteland, the earth shook. The heavens poured down rain before God, the one of Sinai, before God, the God of Israel. You gave abundant showers, O God. You refreshed your weary inheritance. Your people settled in it, and from your bounty, O God, you provided for the poor. Not only in the Old Testament, not only is David here relating about what took place in past history to God's people, but this also is talking about what took place in the future, the time of Jesus. Wherever he went, he refreshed the weary. The showers of his mercy flowed out to everyone, and people were settled in his bounty. Absolutely. The Lord announced the word, and that word is his character, the Ten Commandments. He announced his word. The, and great was the company of those who proclaimed it. How true that is, even today. Many are going out proclaiming the Ten Commandments, the character of God. At the time of Christ, there weren't too many who accepted the Ten Commandments, but they went out and basically converted a world. Unfortunately, they turned it into a church, and then they lost the power of God. 
Kings and armies flee in haste. In the camps men divide the plunder. Even while you sleep among the campfires, the wings of my dove are sheathed with silver, its feathers with shining gold. Even while we're asleep, God is watching over us. When the Almighty scattered the kings in the land, it was like snow fallen on Zalman. How wonderful it is when God scatters our foes. The mountains of Bashan are majestic mountains. Rugged are the mountains of Bashan. Why gaze in envy, O rugged mountains, at the mountain where God chooses to reign, where the Lord himself will dwell forever? The wicked look on and they're envious of all the power and the greatness and grandeur of God. They could have it if they humbled themselves and accepted what God gave them. But instead, like Lucifer, they want all that power and grandeur, but they don't want the character that goes with it. And Jesus himself will dwell forever on Mount Zion. Yes, Mount Zion, Mount of Olives, will become one and will spread out before the Lord when he comes from heaven to reign on earth forever. The chariots of God are tens of thousands and thousands of thousands. The Lord has come from Sinai into his sanctuary. When you ascended on high, you led captives in your train. You received gifts from men, even from the rebellious, that you, O Lord God, might dwell there. Praise be to the Lord, the God our Savior, who daily bears our burdens. Jesus said, in the New Testament, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. Yes, he daily bears our burdens. What a God we have. Our God is a God who saves. From the sovereign Lord comes escape from death. That's right. When we live the perfect righteous, sinless, holy, commandment-keeping life. God saves us from death. Oh, we may die a physical death, but we are saved from the everlasting, eternal death and will live eternally with Jesus. Surely God will crush the heads of his enemies, the hairy crowns of those who go on in their sins. Yes. Those who continue in sin will be crushed. The Lord says, I will bring them from Bashan. I will bring them from the depths of the sea that you may plunge your feet in the blood of your foes while the tongues of your dogs have their share. We will let God do the avenging, but we are happy, we are thankful when the wicked are destroyed. They only destroy dis disturb, cause so much trouble in people's lives because they're only thinking of themselves. Your procession has come into view, O God, the procession of my God, the King, into the sanctuary. In front are the singers, after them the musicians. With them are the maidens playing tambourines. Praise God in the great congregation. Praise the Lord in the assembly of Israel. Let us always in our heart, wherever we are. Lift up our hearts in praise to God and praise Him by being obedient to His commandments. There is the little tribe of Benjamin leading them. There are the great throng of Judah's princes. And there are the princes of Zebulun and of Naphtali. Summon your power, O God. Show us your strength, O God, as you have done before. Yes. Every day he shows his power. He will be there for you if you accept him. Because of your temple at Jerusalem, kings will bring you gifts. Rebuke the beast among the reeds, the herd of bulls among the calves of the nations. Humbled, may it bring bars of silver. Scatter the nations to delight in war. Envoys will come from Egypt. Cush will submit herself to God. Your enemies, says the Bible, will turn and serve you. 
the more you live in close cooperation with God, the greater power you will have because God's power is reigning through you. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing praise to the Lord, to him who rides the ancient skies above, who thunders with mighty voice. Proclaim the power of God, whose majesty is over Israel, whose power is in the skies. You are awesome, O God, in your sanctuary. The God of Israel gives power and strength to his people. Praise be to God. I pray that you will think about this. Praise God in all that you do, every little thing. Let people know that you're not ashamed of your God, not by what you say, but by what you do. Live the commandment-keeping life. Be obedient and watch the power of God in your life. Thank you for being with me and Jesus Christ for another video Bible study.